Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday, August the 19th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 19, the third way of service, work. Jesus took on himself the form of a servant. He came not to be served, but to serve. He went about doing good, healing the sick, preaching good news to the poor, and binding up the broken-hearted. Lord Jesus, in your servant Francis, you displayed the wonderful power of the cross. Help us always to follow you in the way of the cross, and give us strength to resist all temptation. To you, Lord, but the Father and the Holy Spirit, be all glory forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our light and our life. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 140. Deliver me, O Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent, who devise evil in their hearts and stir up strife all day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent, who are determined to trip me up. The proud have hidden a snare for me and stretched out a net of cords. They have set traps for me along the path. I have said to the Lord, You are my God. Listen, O Lord, to my supplication. O Lord God, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wicked, O Lord, nor let their evil plans prosper. Let not those who surround me lift up their heads. Let the evil of their lips overwhelm them. Let hot burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the mire, never to rise up again. A slanderer shall not be established on the earth, and evil shall hunt down the lawless. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the poor and render justice to the needy. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name, and the upright shall continue in your sight. Save us, Lord, from all terror and oppression. Strengthen us to maintain the cause of the poor, that justice may roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Do not work for the bread, sorry, do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who he has sent. So they said to him, Then what sign will you do that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Truly, truly I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. 
But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we stand, sit, or kneel in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the Church throughout the world. We pray for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We pray for our church leaders, for our Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our acting National Indigenous Bishop Sidney, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. For the whole people of God, that each one may be a true and faithful servant of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who are searching, for those who are struggling to find a purpose and a will, for those who are wondering what life has in store for them. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will give them a sense of your presence, your love, and your vision for them. For those drawing near to the light of faith, that the Lord will bring them to true knowledge of himself let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our families and friends, most especially as we move towards the start of the new school year and the start of our, our usual September routines, we pray, Heavenly Father, that each one of us has received some rest and refreshment in this time of summer. That the Lord will give them joy and satisfaction in all they do let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are lonely, sick, hungry, persecuted, or ignored, remembering especially those among us this day who will feel the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness, we also pray for those in our hospital and our nursing homes. That the Lord will comfort and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the Queen, our Governor General, our Prime Minister and members of Parliament, our Premier and members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, that the Lord will help us to contribute to its true growth and well-being, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the whole human family, Remembering this day those places where there is warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, China, Taiwan, Russia, Ukraine 
and the United States. That we may live together in justice and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray this morning for the African province, for Ghana, and we pray for Emily, Elisi, Jubal, Amy, Diane, Jyoti, Kenneth, Jawe, Vera, Sybil, Anne, Phoenix, Keith, Jawe, Joselenza, Alex, James, Gary, Rosanna, Sergio, Hugo, Joseph, Bonita, Charlie, and our companions Matthew, James, and Kip. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and sent into our hearts the spirit of your Son. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that all people may know the glorious liberty of the children of God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our blessed lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all God's holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.